Hello, my name is Mitchell Hagopian. I'm the managing attorney for the community and institutions team here at Disability Rights Wisconsin. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the community integration priority uh, in our PAMI program. One of DRW's main PAMI priorities is to promote the right of individuals with serious mental illness or emotional impairment to live and receive supports and services in the most inclusive integrated community settings appropriate for them. We address this goal through individual casework and by participating on the statutorily required relocation teams that the Department of Health Services convenes whenever a large facility notifies DHS that it is either closing altogether or downsizing significantly. Um, our individual advocacy on behalf of adults uh, typically relates to helping people who have been involuntarily detained or committed to one of the two state operated mental health institutes, uh, either Winnebago Mental Health Institute or the Mendota Mental Health Institute uh, or the Trumpelo County Mental or Trumpelo County Healthcare Center, uh, which is a very large county operated nursing facility that specializes in treating people with serious mental illness. Uh, the Trumpelo facility, although a county owned and operated facility, has relationships with multiple other counties and as a result is the uh, placement for many people from around the state. Uh, our role with respect to these individuals is to assist them in discharge planning to a less restrictive setting that is to the maximum extent possible, consistent with the individual's desired living situation. Uh, this involves uh, talking with the individual, the individual, individual's guardian if they have one, reviewing records from the facility, connecting with the relevant county adult mental health staff who are uh, responsible for overseeing the placement, uh, and then moving the process uh, of relocation to a less restrictive setting uh, on a forward path. The means by which we advocate uh, is typically through negotiation and self-advocacy assistance. Uh, this priority often involves two of our other priorities, uh, enforcing individual rights and treatment and connecting people with Medicaid funded community-based mental health services, which I'll talk about later. Uh, those primarily include the Community Support Program, CSP, Comprehensive Community Services, CCS, and Targeted Case Management, TGM. Um, we don't represent people in Chapter 51 mental commitment or recommitment uh, proceedings. Individuals involved in those proceedings are entitled to representation through the State Public Defender's Office. When appropriate, we help people connect to their appointed counsel or explain that process to them. Um, our individual advocacy for kids with serious emotional impairment typically involves kids who have been emergency detained at the Winnebago facility. Our role is to help connect kids, youth, and their families uh, to community-based programs such as CCS, Comprehensive Community Services, and CLTS, Children's uh, Long-Term Support Waiver. Also, uh, depending on the county they live in, uh, the various uh, mental health wraparound programs that are available. We encourage a wraparound approach in which different systems work together to support the child and family. We do not represent kids in CHIPS, GIPS, or juvenile detention court proceedings or processes. Um, as I mentioned, we also serve on the relocation teams that DHS convenes whenever a community-based residential facility or nursing home closes its doors or downsizes. As part of that process, we offer our individual, individual advocacy assistance to any person who desires our help. If a person accepts our offer, uh, we work with them and their county to find an appropriate alternative placement, hopefully one that is less restrictive and the one than the one that is closing or downsizing. In addition to any individual advocacy we may be engaging in, we also attend the regular, usually weekly meetings of the entire relocation team. During these meetings, the status of each resident's projective move is noted and any impediments to relocation are identified and addressed. Staffing patterns and ratios are discussed to ensure that the facility that is closing 
is adequately staffed to maintain the quality of care necessary to satisfy licensure requirements and uh, assure the health and safety of all the remaining residents. These meetings continue until every resident of the facility has been relocated from the facility. Um, in the past, we've uh, served on the relocation teams that oversaw the downsizing of the Milwaukee Mental Health Complex and numerous private nursing homes that were the primary residents for numerous people with serious mental illness. Most of the large facilities that served people with serious mental illness have closed. Uh, so far, no new closures have been announced in 2021. And that's a summary of uh, our PAMI priority as it relates to community integration. Thanks.